Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. In this ATPL question bank video series for general navigation subject, I'm going to show you how to solve this air almanac question. At the end of this video, I will show you how to answer this question in a short amount of time. Make sure you stay until the end of the video. This video is a part of a playlist where I show the method, technique and tricks to answer ATPL question. Please check out the playlist. The link is available in the description. Refer to figure 061-11. What is the duration of morning civil twilight at 66 degree 48 minute north, 095 degree 26 minute west on 27th of January? The optional answer are A. 9 hours 27 minute B. 1 hours 13 minute C. 8 hours and 14 minutes and D 1 hours and 2 minutes. This is figure 061-11. Since the question asks us to find the twilight duration, therefore we need to use both table. First, I am going to show you how to find sunrise time. Step 1. Locate the date and the latitude. 27th of January is between 26 and 29th January. 66 degree 48 minute north is between 66 degree north and 68 degree north. The data that we are interested in is within this intersection area. For organizational purposes, I will insert this data into a table. Step 2. Interpolate the data. First, we will interpolate 68 degree north row. To interpolate the data, we need to assume the changes within the table is linear. Changes in date is equivalent to changes in time. 26 minus 29 is equivalent to 0947 minus 0933. Negative 3 days change in date is equal to 14 minute changes in time. 1 day change in date is equivalent to negative 14 over 3 minutes. One day is equivalent to negative 4.7 minutes or approximately negative 5 minutes. If we refer back to the table, we can see that the time is reducing as the date increases. Thus, sunrise at 68 degree north on 27th January equals 0947 minus 0005. Sunrise at 68 degree north on 27th January equals 0942LMT. Next, we will interpolate 66 degree north row. The same procedure applies. Changes in date is equivalent to changes in time. 26 minus 29 is equivalent to 0920 minus 0909. Negative 3 days is equal to 11 minutes. 1 day is equivalent to negative 11 over 3 minutes. One day change in date is equivalent to 3.7 minute change in time or approximately negative 4 minutes. Thus, sunrise at 66 degree on 27th January equals 0920 minus 0004. Sunrise at 66 degree north on 27th January equals 0916 LMT. Next, we will interpolate 27th January column. Change in latitude is equivalent to change in time. 68 degree minus 66 degree is equivalent to 0942 minus 0916. 2 degree changes in latitude is equivalent to 26 minute changes in sunrise time. 1 degree change in latitude 
is equivalent to 13 minute changes in sunrise time. To find the amount of sunrise time changes within 48 minute changes in latitude, we need to multiply 48 minute on both sides of the ratio. Thus, 48 minute is equivalent to 10.4 minute or approximately 10 minutes. Sunrise at 66 degree, 48 minute north on 27th of January equal to 0916 plus 0010. Sunrise at 66 degree, 48 minute north on 27th of January is at 0926 LMT. Having found the sunrise time, to find the twilight duration, we need to find the time of morning civil twilight. The same procedure applies. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. Sunrise is at 0926 LMT. Sunrise is the end of morning civil twilight. Morning civil twilight start at 0814 LMT. To find the duration, we just subtract these two time. Duration of morning civil twilight equals 0926 minus 0814. Duration of morning civil twilight equals 1 hours and 12 minutes. The closest answer is B. Quick tip. Now I am going to show you how to answer this question in an acceptable amount of time. After locating the latitude and date, our answer should only be influenced by this eight data from the table. Now I will arrange this data into a simple table as shown on the screen. The difference between this time is the duration of morning civil twilight at that particular latitude and date. Now I will subtract this time to find the duration. The minimum duration is 1 hour and 6 minutes. And the maximum duration is 1 hour and 21 minutes. Since these 8 data are the one which govern our answer, our answer must be in between the maximum and the minimum value. If we look at the optional answer, there is only one answer that is between our minimum and maximum value. That is how we answer this question in an acceptable amount of time. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. 
If you want to learn more about ATPL or other aviation related stuff, subscribe now by clicking on the round subscribe icon. Please check out my other video by clicking on the rectangular box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.